little run over because I know there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube um, that probably explain it much better than I could. So first off, when you open 3DS, you got a block that you've just made. To texture it, um, you're going to want to go to Editable Poly, like I showed you before. Um, select a face and press M um, for Molly, I don't know, M, Massachusetts. And that'll bring up the Material Editor. You see you got a bunch of different materials here you can scroll through. They're all going to be gray at first. Um, and if you want to just apply something to a surface, you can go down here, click your first default texture, move your mouse down here next to the diffuse little modifier. You can color it um, if you want to, but there's not really a point because you're probably going to just apply an actual texture. So for now, I'm going to click this little button right here. It says none. And it'll bring up this little option. You click bitmap at the top and find some place on your computer. I'm going to use one called Woo. <laughs> this little guy. It's a picture of Calvin and Hobbes. And you can see it's up here in the texture editor. And here you can choose a bunch of different things. Tiling, one, one. So it's just going to be normal. You can uncheck tile. I'm going to go ahead just for the sake of showing you that it got on there and to assign it to your material you can select whichever one you want it to or maybe multiple for this I'll choose these three and there's this button right here assign material to selection click it and then down here to the right show standard map and viewpoint viewport and that'll make it show up you can click somewhere else and you see we got a little Calvin and Hobbes on our on our guy um, and that's basically that's basically it this material editor has a lot of cool options down here. You can put in a bunch of, a bunch of different attributes to make it look different. Um, right here, straight off the bat, you can change the specular level and glossiness, um, and that'll make it into a shiny, a shiny thing. I don't know. It's sometimes cool. Usually, don't use it for much, especially in a box. You're not going to see any of that come up much on a box. Um, but unwrapping. That's just the basics of applying a texture uh, to an object. Now, when you get complicated shapes, you're not always going to want to just fit it to the shape or fit it to the face because they're going to have hundreds of faces and assigning it to a set of shapes or even one is just going to make it look skewed and completely irrelevant. So what you want to do, well, let me go ahead and I'm going to clear this. Uh, da, 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 da. Is there a way to clear this? There should be. I don't do this often. Oh yeah, I just get this out of here. I can clear it like that. So my box is just gray again. I'm going to select the whole box, and up here, this is where you have all your selection types. Above it, there's a modifier list right here. Click that little arrow, and it'll bring you a big list of stuff. You want to scroll down, and you'll find one called Unwrap UVW. Click that. Um, you see there's some green lines around your shape. Those are where the textures in the UVW map have edges. Um, so those are all the hard edges of your textures. Here you're going to click edit on the on the right over here. Um, click it twice usually. It'll bring up this box. And there's a little thing up here, show map. I've always thought it was useless. It's just an annoying little checkered, checkerboard texture behind everything. Um, and basically, this is your box. It, right now, it's just weird, unfolded, as straightforward as possible. So you're going to want to decide how you want it. We're going to go to Mapping, Flatten Mapping. Just say, OK, that's all fine. You don't have to mess with it. And you see you've got your six surfaces here. Um, and for now, well, I'll show you a little bit more. These are the six surfaces of your cube. You can select them and move them around. Um, and generally, especially for more complex shapes, you're going to want the faces to be connected so you can get a smooth transition between textures. So down here you have uh, sub-object, or what are these called? Vertex, edge, and face. Um, so this is the, the, the various vertexes. You can click dot by dot, and same as in the editor, control click to select multiple. Uh, same thing, edges. And then this one selects uh, the faces themselves. And you can see here when I select like this up here, this line turns blue. 
that means that those faces here there's a blue one and a blue one those faces are touching so when you select this one this face connects down here um, generally I'll do that I'll do it for you manually but when you start doing this for real you're going to want to map out these keys right now I have s mapped out to automatically connect surfaces when I have them selected so I, I've got these connected here um, but the way you do this manually is you can go up to I believe it's tools weld selected yep hey tools weld selected hmm target weld no excuse me for not being pro uh, ready stitch selected yeah, there we go that'll connect them stitch selected right now I have mine set to s um, and that might be the default I don't think it is you can you can uh, <laughs> there's some place that'll just look around you'll find it there's a way to do all the keys it may be in the actual 3ds max itself to assign keys for stitch selected but I've got it to S, so I'll just select an S, an edge, and I'll do it here. And we're going to go ahead and make it into a cross. I'll do it manually. Stitch selected. Okay. Tools. Stitch selected. Okay. And then one more. Tools. Stitch selected. Okay. So we've got a cross. And we're going to want to fit it into this box. This box is your texture shape. I mean, this box is the whole texture. The image that you are texturing onto your shape width. So basically I'm going to scale this down. I'm going to hold the corner and control. That'll scale it without losing the uh, not perspective. Uh, but it'll keep it in the original shape. I'm sorry I can't think of the word. But you don't have to. You can just stretch it out for the whole thing. But I want to keep the boxes for now to keep it simple. So I get that. And that's how I want it. That's good. I'm going to go ahead and go to Tools. Render UVW Template. And for this purpose uh, 124 by 124 is fine render UVW template this little floppy disk up here will save it I'll save it to my desktop as tutorial image texture um, JPEG JPEG where are you there it is save texture quality that's fine best is best as they say or do they I don't know anyways once you've done that you can say that's all fine just close this go up here to make sure those changes are applied to your shape you want to right click this unwrap UVW modifier and um, collapse to or collapse all there's only two of them it's like in Photoshop merge down or merge all pretty much collapse to collapse all I'll just collapse all and that is that so we're gonna go into Photoshop and we're gonna open that UVW mask that we just did um, UV oh dang it tutorial image texture and in Photoshop, there it is. That is what you just unwrapped. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just fill these shapes. Okay, so you got some crazy colors here. Uh, the rest of it. And like I said, remember these lines in between, you're going to want to cover them up in real life because they'll show up on your texture and they will be very annoying. Um, so we're going to go ahead and save that. Just save it. It's fine. Um, and then we're going to go to back to 3DS. And like I showed you a second ago, go to M. And here next to the diffuse, this little box with a thing none next to it, click it. Bitmap from texture. We're going to do tutorial image texture and load in that texture we just did. Uh, when we assign it to our image, you can see it has assigned the texture location to the polys we designated. Mm, so that's pretty much it. You can see here, yeah, those are the lines I was talking about. They're showing up in between our textures that the UVW generated. Cover those up because those get messy. But that's the basics of it. You can find more in-depth tutorials elsewhere, but that should do it for now.